I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a math problem. But Dr. Romano, I thought you were an organic chemistry guy. But you thought I'm wrong. We're gonna do a math problem. Um, I'm gonna be making up a lot of math videos, but this is gonna be one of the beginning of many videos that I'm gonna be creating for math. We need to do some basic math and we have to have some basic competency. So I'm gonna start off with a real easy one on how to work with simple numbers and do some nice square roots. So come around. First thing I want to do here is to evaluate the square root of 0.0036 plus 0.01 equals 0.03 minus x. The best way to do a problem like this is to rewrite the square root of 0.0036 as the square root of 36 to the minus fourth. Hopefully you can see if you move the decimal one, two, three, four, it would give you the same number. Now. My next move is after I did this, I subtracted 0.01 from both sides. So I get the square root of 36 to the minus fourth on the left, and when I subtracted the 01, that gave me my 0.02, and there's my minus x. I'm gonna square root individually. So this becomes the square root of 36, the square root of 10 to the minus fourth, and I keep the right side the way it is. Square root of 36 is six, the square root of 10 to the minus fourth is 10 to the minus two. You cut it in half. Six times 10 to the minus two is the same as saying 0.06. So we get 0.06 equals the 0.02 minus x. I'm gonna bring the x to the other side and then I'm gonna subtract 06 and that gives me x equals minus 0.04. Hopefully you can do a real simple question like that. Let's look at B. What if I asked you at lightning speed to evaluate the square root of 0.0015? What I would suggest is to rewrite this again as the square root of 15, one, two, three, four, to the minus fourth. So the square root of 15 to the minus fourth. Well, the square root of 15 is very close to the square root of 16, which becomes four. And the square root of minus four is minus two. So I come up with four to the minus two, which is approximately, because we use 16 instead of 15, 0.04. So you should be able to hit that at blitzing speed. So these are two questions on how to maneuver a radical. All right, I hope to see you again. I'll be making some more math videos and we'll get more intricate as the problems go on. Okay, good day to you. Bye-bye.